Hello, and welcome to Psychology Demystified. Today's topic is covering self-esteem. Our self-esteem, or our confidence in our own value as human beings, is a precious psychological resource. It's also considered a highly positive factor in our lives because it's correlated with things such as good relationships, achievement, and also satisfaction. Self-esteem is a great thing when it's in balance. However, when it's on one side or the other, that's when it's considered to be a little bit of an issue. When someone is considered to have low self-esteem or low confidence, this is considered a challenge, mainly because it can lead you to become depressed, it can also lead you to fall short of your potential, and sometimes when you do have low self-esteem, that's the thing that allows you to tolerate abusive relationships and situations. A lot of people's self-esteem or their self-confidence or their self-regard doesn't form in a bubble. It forms because of interactions with other people. Someone who's experienced a lot of criticism in their lives might end up having low self-regard because all they've heard is the things that they don't do right. Or the things that they don't do according to someone else's expectations. On the other spectrum, however, there's such a thing as too much self-esteem, too much self-love, too much confidence. And this can also be an issue. It's not so much an issue for the one who has it, but it's an issue for those people who are dealing with that person, mainly because this person comes off as someone who is off-putting and someone who has a sense of entitlement and also an inability to learn anything from failures, which is very interesting because humans make mistakes, but they don't. Someone who has an elevated sense of self is used to hearing only good things about themselves or is used to being in a position of power so no one actually tells them things that they don't want to hear. In some cases, too much self-love, too much self-confidence and very high self-regard can be a sign of clinical narcissism. Someone who shows signs of clinical narcissism is someone who typically is seen to be self-centered, who's arrogant, and who also behaves in a manipulative manner. Things have to go their way, and if they don't, then they badger you and badger you, and hope that by badgering you, you start to see things their way. Because after all, their way is the only way. Now some people might be wondering, wait, are you saying that I need to be less confident? Not at all. I'm saying that you need to be confident in a balanced manner. In a manner that doesn't make you look like you think you're above everyone else in a manner that doesn't make you feel like you're below everyone else. Being in the middle for this is just fine. Yeah, let's be average, especially for this. One thing's for sure, self-esteem can influence your life in many different ways, be it professional or relationships or even your mental health. So before we even start to think of ourselves as having low self-esteem or high self-esteem, how do we know whether we have one or the other? And how do we know if we have it in check? How do we know whether we are balanced? As with many things, when you're trying to figure out where you stand on a spectrum, you do an evaluation. So today you will be doing a quick self-evaluation of yourself to see where your self-esteem lies on the scale. The Rosenberg self-esteem scale has 10 questions or 10 markers. And in order for you to see what they are about, you will need to do the following. You will need a paper, a writing tool of some sort, and that's pretty much it. On this paper, you're going to have the numbers 1 through 10. Make them downwards in a list like I'm showing here. Once you do that, please divide your paper into four columns. These four columns will consist of the following categories. There will be a column for strongly agree, for agree, for disagree, 
and for strongly disagree. Done? You should have four columns and four categories, and of course the numbers 1 through 10, so that you're ready for the categories when I start. Here are the statements that you will be assessing for yourself. Statement number one. I feel that I am a person of worth, at least on an equal plane with others. Do you strongly agree? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Or do you strongly disagree? Only choose one. Number two. I feel that I have a number of good qualities. Please pick one. Number three, all in all, or overall, I am inclined to feel that I am a failure. Please pick one. Number four, I am able to do things as well as most other people. Number five, I feel I do not have much to be proud of. Do you strongly agree? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Or do you strongly disagree with this statement? Number six, I take a positive attitude toward myself. Number seven, on the whole or overall, I am satisfied with myself. Number eight, I wish I could have more respect for myself. Number nine, I certainly feel useless at times. And the last one, number 10, at times, I think I am no good at all. Do you strongly agree? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Or do you strongly disagree with this statement? Now that you feel that you've been as honest as possible with yourself regarding these statements, it's now time to score your Rosenberg scale. If you checked off strongly agree for number one, for number two, number four, number six, and number seven, then that scores a three. If you wrote agree for any of them, your score is a two. If you disagreed for any of these numbers, number one, two, four, six, and seven, then you get a score of a one. And if you strongly disagree, with either number one, two, four, six, and seven, then your score is a zero. Now comes the next layer to it. For the following numbers, number three, five, eight, nine, and 10, this is how you are going to score it. For these numbers, if you checked off strongly agree or you wrote down strongly agree, then you have a score of a zero. If you have agree as your answer for number three, five, eight, nine, and 10, then you have a one as your number. If you have disagree, you have a two as your score. If you have strongly disagree, your score is a three for these numbers. The scale of these numbers goes from 0 to 30. If you have a score between 15 and 25, you are within the normal range, which means that you are in the average range that you should be aiming for. Yes, remember, average is good. If you are in the 25 to 30, then you are in the high regard, high, super high self-confidence. So you really do have to check yourself and to check your confidence. You do have to be careful how you come across to people. If your score was below 15, then that does suggest that you do have low self-esteem. It's nothing to fret about because it's something that you can work on. And how do you work on this? The first step is to reach out for help because you have to do this with someone. Someone has to let you see the greatness in you. So reach out and ask for help. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to be kind because you really don't know what someone is going through. And to you, 
hugs, and kindness. Always.